Hello my friends, my name is Sergi, I'm a portrait photographer in Greenville, South Carolina and today I want to a little bit talk about my most favorite lens for kid photography, especially for the kids that approximately from one year to three years they run away, doesn't want to listen up. I want to kind of display and show you the most favorite lens it can be from Nikon, can be from Canon, from can be anyone, but it has to be 70 to 200 lens. Uh, that lens gonna gives you kind of take picture from far away, and at the same time can blur out background nicely. You're gonna need to put the yeah, maximum zoom, put at 200 millimeter, and then I will put the f-stop or aperture at 2.8, and then shutter speed I will uh, uh, set up accordingly to the f-stop so and here's my favorite lens for the kids photography like you see i'm using canon r5 and my most favorite lens for the kids photography is 7200 canon lens but if you have older system if you have 7200 2.8 lens it will work perfectly for the kids it's gonna let you to stay as maximum far away from the kid as possible because you don't want to touch them you don't want to interact with them you just want to kind of let the kids to do everything the kid is wanna because i have some kids that uh are trying to come closer they will run away from me they will start crying do all kind of stuff so i'm quickly if i see that kid not gonna let me to shoot with the 85 1.2 then i quickly switch to this lens and we'll continue to shooting with this lens. If you put maximum zoom at 200 millimeter, it will give you maximum compression and will blur out maximum your background as possible. We have one more time, Mark, he's gonna be a model for today and I'm gonna be showing how I'm shooting with that 7200 lens, one of the best lens for the kids, right? If we wanted to make him to do something, you don't want to interrupt the kid, you want to just to let him to do something. So that's why we bring uh, this awesome basket and he's going to carry and going to some, he's going to put something from forest. Give something to do. The kids want to do something and just uh, watch what he's doing. And as soon as you're going to see a good light, be ready for snapping some shots, right? First thing, I'm going to put my lens at 200 millimeter and I want to make sure my shutter speed not the shutter speed number one thing I will set up is aperture aperture is my number one thing or priority so I will put 2.8 especially for the kids portraits so it is I have 100 ISO and then whenever I put uh, he's gonna be in the darker position so I will use shutter speed to light up or darken the image so this is it that's how I shoot everything or every time the families have everything so basically i will use only fixed aperture and i will use it to control the light shutter speed okay so i put um, my lens at 200 millimeter gonna shoot from lower ground that's gonna a little bit look more interesting from the same level as here it's getting a little bit dark so i'm gonna put my eyes at 200 right now got it here look at me i'm just gonna let him play and wait for the moment I'm gonna back it up a little bit in case he's gonna stand up. And the whole thing about the kids' photography, it's a patient. You wanna wait, wait for the moment and be ready as soon as he's gonna give that opportunity for you. Oh, here it is, you look at me. Okay, so let's collect some pine cones. Cool, we have a lot of those. We're bringing more pine cones. I have beautiful light coming on his face from the sky. So it's really important to choose the correct light when you're taking pictures. So, oh, here it is. Look at that. One more. Look at that. Now can I get closer with 200 millimeter? Okay, he stood up. It's really important to give him time and just uh, wait for the moment and then take a picture. Just don't try to interrupt or say cheese or anything for the kid. Just let him do everything and 
he will give you sometimes good connection with the eyes, good moments, more natural. Look at that, he's just doing his stuff. And what I'm doing, it's just a capturing the moments he's gonna give me. He's playing with that basket. Oops, he's gonna... Yeah, and here is the eye contact for me. This is it, simple. Here is one more. You just wait, patient. Sometimes really important to tell parents not to interact. Try to fix it or try to kind of make him smile. Like these kids, usually, they in their world and they want to run everywhere and they want to do something. Some a little bit more quieter, somebody really fast. And that's why this lens will help you to kind of keep it nice distance between kid and let you to capture those awesome moments. Let's do some backlight. I'm gonna go that side across. So my light is coming right now from that side. So I'm gonna go completely across. Now I'm shooting in contour light or in the backlight. So this gives a little bit more different perspective. Uh, when you're taking portrait of the kid, you wanna always look for the lines and for the composition. Here's the shot for me. I have some leaf trees located right here and some leaf trees right here and he's kind of in empty space. So basically everything's go around him, kind of make an arch. So I'm always looking for arches in nature to kind of make it full image. And I like to shoot from the same uh, level that kid Unless you wanted to uh, make an eye connection, then you're just gonna do some sound. And here it is, see? How nice. All right, we changing the position. Okay, I wish we have today uh, sun sunlight, but we have overcast today. And still we have beautiful light coming from front of him, kind of behind the camera that recording right now. And here it is, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, here it is, moments. Ah, yay! We got it. All right, my friends, I think we have enough good shots to show you how I'm utilizing this amazing lens for my kids' photo shoots. So all the shots today that I made it, I did a, two point, a 200 millimeter, 2.8 f-stop, and the rest I just to the f-stop. All right, my friends, if you lose something, please, please subscribe, leave it comments. Uh, and like this video. See you later at the next next video or next video tip. Bye